Konnichiwa, this is Gelp Thing Music, and this video is about Harmony Ocarinas. I will tell you about the information on these, the fingering, sound samples, and pictures of all the ones that are available out there. Have you ever wanted to play two flutes at the same time, or have you ever heard it? If the, the combo is right, it sounds very beautiful. And it's actually the what inspired me to find these. Uh, these are from Charlie Hind, and these uh, are also known as the duet ocarinas. Uh, not to be confused with the polyphonic ocarinas. Those are a little different, which I explain in another video. And these, or the or the double ocarina, which these are usually sometimes are called double ocarinas, but the normal double ocarinas are only to extend the range. These actually play in harmony together. They're pitched a fourth or a fifth apart because you have one normal scale and on the other side you have the cleft. That's right, you can have a normal scale and a cleft all in your pocket and each side is a full eight note major scale. And so it is possible, but it's inspired from the original idea from the double medieval recorder, which are very ancient. Now they can finally do that on the ocarinas, as the ocarina normal full scale wasn't even developed until the 1860s from a guy in Italy. And these harmony ocarinas, not even developed until sometime in the 1900s, um, sadly, but now we have them and the people didn't really know about them. Um, they still don't know too much about them, so I'm making this video to just tell you about these. These are an awesome choice. Maybe not for beginner, but maybe so. Depends on what you want to play. They're not so uh, different, uh, hard to play anything. So um, I will show you photos from all the ones that I know of that are out there. I believe all the ones that are out there. Uh, first, from the guy in Italy. I think his are still available for sale. Uh, it's a little hard to find because it's international. Um, well, um, we do have... Uh, from Songbird Ocarina and they make a couple of different ones you know, there's two different key options there uh, then uh, the Ace uh, Ace Ocarinas they actually make one and I don't know what that one sounds like um, but I imagine it's pretty nice also and then STL finally makes one uh, however um, I don't know some, some pros and cons of theirs I do post a video on my review of it, if you want to check that out. Uh, then we do have maybe the more commonly known one from uh, the UK. However, I believe theirs are made from plastic, and that's why not really that uh, great, I think. The, the best ones, I believe, are from uh, Charlie Hind and North Country Workshop. North Country Workshop, I um, I wish they still made theirs. Theirs are really amazing also. But they do not make theirs anymore, nor will they ever again, probably. Um, they do have a webpage still that says they're available, but they're not. Um, I hope they make them again someday, uh, because this one's from uh, Charlie Hind I have. Uh, bass, tenor, and I was hoping to get a uh, double alto from theirs is theirs is the best double alto that I know but no more from them too bad oh and the uh, as for the cleft side the downside is that you have to write your own cleft you can't just convert that or play to it um, piano music or whatever uh, for this you have to write your own um, I write my own I have quite a few songs you can ask for a copy of mine or now, once you really have the ear and get professional, you can do that. A lot of combos sound good. Just depends on the song, what will sound the best. So once you get really good, you can do that. The Charlie Hind also makes a sweet potato harmony. That one's also very pretty. Um, I like these ones best. These inline harmonies, personally, I think sound a little, a little better. And they're cheaper. His sweet potato harmony is really expensive. These are not too bad. They're like around 200 or so and the fingering is the same on each side so I'll just show you the fingering on these uh, but first I'll, I'll play the practice scale on each one so you can hear it
and I believe I'm the only one posting videos of songs on uh, this bass harmony by Charlie Hine and um, almost the only one posting videos on on this harmony here there are a few others some other people that do post from the uh, this tenor uh, I will post in the box below a link to a couple that do post songs on these or did and they do take longer to learn songs on so I don't post too often too many songs on these and the uh, fingering on these I'll show you the fingering it's quite uh, similar to a lot of other instruments now the fingering I think on these are the same or very very similar on all these harmonies um, so the lowest note is all holes covered then you lift one then it gets different I called the three four five six seven So all the holes uncovered is the highest note. And now I'll do the uh, flats. The uh, Now the numbers I'm using are from the Charlie Hine and I couldn't think of a better system either as so I use the same number system on these charts that I make and sell on eBay. And the two flat, that's a little tricky because you half cover the, the, low, the bottom note there and it's quite small, so it gets pretty tricky. Um, and then the three flat, you just half cover this mid hole. And then the five flat, now they're easier. Six flat. Seven flat. And the eight flat is just half or mostly covering the bottom hole. And the uh, fingering on these, if you have one of Charlie's and one of North Country Workshop and you want to play both, like I would like to, the fingering is different. Uh, well, actually the fingering can be the same. And you just put your uh, forefinger not covering the hole because theirs only has three holes on the top. So your forefinger is not covering a hole then the fingering can be the same if you play these two other notes differently, which do the same on Charlie Hines Ocarina. The five is two different ways. Oh. And uh, the three is two different ways. So the fingering can be the same that way. The only difference between Charlie's and the North Country Workshop is the workshops, the low side is on the left and not on the right. So that's the only difference. So, uh, please let me know in the comments if you think this video was helpful and please share your experience and opinion. If uh, you play any of these other harmonies, please share uh, some information about them. And thanks for watching the video. Arigato gozaimasu. They sound so pretty when there's two floats playing at the same time. That's what uh, found me to inspire. Inspired me, not found me to. Double flutes are known, have been known for a long time. However, the ones on the uh, Harmony Ocarina are um, not as common. They're a lot less common and less known because well, first off, the full scale on the Ocarina wasn't even figured out until the 1860s from a guy in Italy. <laughs> then, um, then <laughs> the 1900s, they have uh, Harmony Ocarinas. And... <laughs> oh! Now, I'm going to do a scale. Just going to do the uh, basic uh, sc scale to... Ooh, I dropped the book. I didn't mean to do that on a video. This is a three flat. So you play the three with this note here, half covered. I 
get stuffed up. Yeah, that's the only problem with the wooden ones, the condensation problem. Um, 